Hey guys, Magentos is here today again and I'll be doing a Danger World deck profile as promised. So, so my Danger World deck will focus on burning your opponent uh, by destroying your monsters and stuff. Yep. So, with support from the latest EBO2 Great Clash Dragon vs Danger. Yep, so uh, it's currently not focusing on the Ace series cut. The A series type of cards yet, but uh, in the near future I might possibly do a A deck, which will focus on the weapons. Yep. So. Yep. Let's go get on with the deck profile. Everybody loves deck profiles, so my deck. Yep. So if you uh, possibly enjoy my deck profiles, uh, leave a like down below. Yep. So. Standard Danger World flag. A buddy is Ammonite Cerberus. Just the normal Cerberus, he doesn't have a core cost. And uh you can you can just put uh size one or less armor knight from a few into his soul and you can discard one soul to destroy a monster on your opponent's field. So it's uh, actually very good, so you can just stuff all the size ones inside and just continue destroying your monsters. And it has soul guard, so if you do not wish to destroy your opponent's monster, you can just stack souls in Stack souls and then just put him in the center. Yep. Oh shit. Okay, so for the size trees, we have one Ammonite Bahamut. So basically, yep, I run him for the very high power and defense. And then uh, when he enters the field, you can get 4 life, so it's very strong. So next. We have Ammonite Trent. So Trent uh, has a 3 gauge core cost, which is similar to him. He has a 3 gauge core cost and uh, to destroy a monster from your field. And so basically, it doesn't matter because since you have to call such, since you are going to call such 3 monsters, you have to clear out the other monsters anyway. Yep, so gain 4 life. However, this has a 10k defense, 8k attack, and a whopping 4 crits. So it's better. <coughs> Sorry about that. Better than Ammonite Bahamut's three crits. Yep. So next for size two, we have one tech in Ammonite Golem. So just for the high defense. Yep. And then, and then we have our buddy, our buddy monster here, Ammonite Cerberus. Yep. Next, we have. Next, we have Ammonite Sphinx from the all new set. So basically, what he does is. Hold on. When you are attacked directly, and this card is on the left or right, you can pay one gauge. If you do, you can play rock, paper, scissors with your opponent, and if you win, you can nullify the attack. So, guys, to all of you guys out there which love playing scissors, rock, paper, scissors, or scissors, paper, stone. With your friends and you always win, use this card. So basically uh quite a luck based card but yep. So you can not get a free nine if um you can get a nine five the cost of one gauge, not too bad. So next next we have Armonite as Moldai. So basically uh so uh the core cost requires you to destroy one of your armor knight monsters and pay one gauge. So when this uh the effect when it's caught is uh destroy all monsters on the left and the right of your opponent's field. So it makes him a very very good card. You can uh clean his left and right. Yep. And then you can use a spell or something to destroy his center monster. It makes him a very very strong card. Next we have three of vanilla monsters, Ammonite Ogre. Yep, nothing much, just for the stats. Because dangerous monsters, dangerous mon vanilla monsters have very high stats. Yep, and for the awesome 5k attack. And next, we have Ammonite Polar Bear, which, has, which is the reversed, reversed stats Ammonite Ogre. So basically, just. 5k defense 
and a not too bad uh, 3k attack. So for size zeros, we have Arm Armanite Goblin, four of them. Yep. So basically, uh, when this card enters the field, you can put one size, put a size one Armanite monster from drop zone into his soul. So if this card will be destroyed, return all cards in this card soul to your hand. So yep, you get to recycle your size one Armanite monsters like your Asmodai or your Ammonite Polar Bear. Yep, however, it would be great if it works with Cerberus, however, uh, it requires this card to be destroyed. Yep, so, whatever. Okay, next card we have here is Demon Slay Slash. Oh, hold on a moment. And uh, Ammonite Goblin is very interesting, so you return all cards in his soul to your hand. So if you have uh, ultimate, if you use this as your body monster and you have ultimate body, you can return that to your hand as well, if it's not, yep, whatever. Yep, so it's pretty good. Yep, going on to Demon Slay Slash, run 4 of these. Okay, so, pay 1 gauge. Okay, you can only cast this card during an attack from an opponent's monster and you don't have a monster in the center. So you pay one gauge and destroy one monster on your opponent's field with power less than or equal to a weapon on your field. So useful if your useful if your weapon is very strong. Yep. Next we have four of these battle aura circle. So basically just the ninety five. Yep, we have to run this. If not, you will just get whacked. Just get, just get owned by opponents. You can't stop. Next, we have a Demon Brick Slash. So you can only cast this card during an attack on your opponent's turn, and if you do not have a monster in the center, so pay one gauge and destroy a size one or less monster on your opponent's field. So basically, it's like a Dragonic Thunder. Yep. So, uh, as you can see, this deck has a lot of, uh. Destroying your opponent stuff. So next, bow retaliation, two copies. Uh, uh, when you are dealt damage, when you are dealt damage, you can put the put the cards from the top of your deck equal to the uh, number of damage dealt to you into your gauge. So let's say your opponent hits you for whopping four crit or something, you can charge four gauge. And if you use Flat Dracula and hit you for six crit, you can, yep, you can charge six. So it's a very very good card, especially when you do not have you have like limited gauge charging. Next, two more copies, Dimensional Demon Slay Slash. Yep. So basically, it's a moment. Yep. It's similar to this card. Dimensional and this just a normal okay whatever. So basically, what this card does is uh, you can only cast this if you do not have a monster in the center, and you can choose a card from your opponent's gauge and put it into the drop zone and put the top card of your deck into your gauge. So you can charge one gauge and destroy my opponent's gauge. Pretty awesome. So moving on to the weapons, we have three. Demonic, sp demonic spear, swirling darkness. So it's a weapon three crits at the equip cost of one gauge. Not too bad. But it has a just a very low power of three k. Next, we have explosive axe. Rick do demon slay. So uh same as the previous one. This has a core cost has a equip cost of one gauge. However, the limitation is you cannot call monsters to the center. Yep, so basically this works very well with Demon Slay. Demon Slay Slash. So basically, you have to destroy one monster on your opponent's field with power less than or equal to a weapon on your field. So it will be a very good, because since it's a 6k. Yep. So lastly, for the impact, we have just the standard drill bunker so pay 2 gauge and you can stand your weapon and attack with it and your weapon gets additional 4k power, 2 crits and penetrate 
So when combo with this, it will be a very strong 10k, 5 crits, and has a penetrate, so you just wipe your opponent, and then you win, hopefully that is. Yep, so uh, this deck fo mainly focuses on uh, burning your opponents, so like cards like Amana as Modai, and cards and spells like Demon Slay Slash or something, you can destroy your opponents. And of course the buddy monster here, Cerberus also can uh, destroy your opponents, monsters. So note that this is a uh, destroy a monster on your opponent's field, so it can be any monster. So it will be very pretty effective against uh what's that world called ancient world with all the Spartan and stuff. Yep. So guys, uh, this concludes the end of my deck profile for you guys. So, uh. Yep, so if you have enjoyed my deck profile, feel free to leave a like down below. And if you are new to my channel, uh, a subscribe will be appreciated. And if you have any general feedback on my videos and stuff, you can just leave a comment down below to tell me how I can improve. And of course, stay tuned for more deck profiles, product opening and card review and stuff like that. So until then, peace out guys.